Hey, it's True Score Gaming, and I realized that the last off-road challenge between these two vehicles was very brief. So today we are going to do a deep dive, pun intended, on all the customization and upgrades available for the CAT CT680 and Navistar 5000 MV, and then afterwards we're going to drive these two trucks into a deep river. Let's get started with the CAT CT680 available for purchase in game at level 12. I started off by adding the GB BV 2700T engine. Adding the off-road gearbox package adds three additional low stage gears while slightly lowering the fuel efficiency and top speed. A race suspension is lacking on this truck, but it's already the biggest of the heavy duty class with 47 inch tires, which we left unchanged from the last challenge with all chain tires, and that's fine for this deep water challenge. I equipped the high power medium winch just in case, but probably won't need it today. Unlock diff lock, twin wedge cap snorkel, and an engageable all wheel drive. The combination of these upgrades will produce S plus rating in power to weight, A minus for durability, and a B minus for fuel consumption. Looking at the visual customization options, we only have the stock rear bumper to choose from. Only one option for front side and that's angled beacons. There are several rooftop options. I chose the roof fog lights just for personal preference. The amount of extra light it actually produces is minimal but I'll take all I can get for nighttime driving conditions. I like the look of the heavy duty pipe front bumper compared to the reinforced bar, which is just too overbearing, I think. There's one option for miscellaneous and that's a rear cab protector, pretty cool. A few options on the exhaust, which I seriously wish were available on the Navistar just to blow the heavy exhaust out of camera view and a bunch of different options for rims. Now let's have a look at the Navistar 5000 MV. I equipped the AZ-12 1400 DTA engine, the same gearbox option as on the CAT CT680, which is the off-road package. The Navistar does have a raised suspension package, and this does give it a slight edge over the CAT, allowing us to equip 49-inch all-chain tires. High power medium winch in case we get stuck or want that extra power to pull another vehicle out of trouble. No diff lock options are available, but all wheel drive is always on. I opted for the tall square cap snorkel. Adding all these performance upgrades will bring your stats up to A plus power to weight, A plus durability, and C minus for fuel efficiency. Let's take a look at the visual options. The number one thing I hate on the Navistar is the heavy exhaust and not having any other exhaust pipe options to point the exhaust in any direction other than directly into your field of view. No rear bumper options other than the stock one. I like the winch pipe option for the front bumper compared to the heavy duty. The side protective blinds look more sleek compared to the mesh and the dark downward sun visor really makes this truck visually appealing. There's only two options for rims to choose from. And that wraps up all the upgrade and customization options. As promised, let's head out to a deep part of the Alaskan River system and see how these two compare. They were pretty evenly matched in the off-road challenge, so let's see how they swim. I brought along the Dan 96320, thinking it will come down to which engine takes the most damage. First up, it's the CAT CT680. In case you're wondering, this spot is where you have to pull out the Hummer H2 in Northport, Alaska. There's some really nice deep water here in case you want to do your own testing. The CT680 did fine with not taking on any water, no engine damage, but it became very apparent quickly that something is just not right. I'm not sure if this vehicle is so lightweight that it floats but I had the steering wheel turn in the direction of the watchtower and I just could not get the truck to move in that direction. I finally made it to the opposite shore and I tried again to get across the river to the watchtower unsuccessfully. It just treads and churns in the water without making any advancement towards the watchtower. 
You can even see the current starting to carry it away. Next up is the Navistar 5000 MV. As soon as we hit the water, it was apparent that this truck has absolutely no issue with deep water at all. Its wheels rest on the river bottom and steering in any direction is not an issue. It navigates with ease in this environment. So much so that it even had no issue rescuing the CAT CT680 and pulling it over to the shores near the watchtower. I couldn't find any information on how the different trucks are classified, but if it's according to weight then it makes a whole lot of sense. The CT680 is considered a heavy duty and the Navistar is a heavy truck, which is in a different class altogether. The Navistar 5000 MV is definitely a better all-around choice if you're on the fence about purchasing it. It is only available for those that pre-ordered the game or through purchase from the DLC. Another good reason is that it is available from level 1, while the CAT CT680 becomes available after you reach level 12. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. That way you don't miss out on any videos. Have a great day and see you next time.